the area of my research is mental health services disparities, specifically program development and the dissemination and implementation of evidence-based practices in urban schools. Evidence-based practices have been developed to prevent and treat mental disorders in children and can be delivered in the school setting, but they're not always implemented the way they were designed to be. Urban schools, for example, often lack the capacity to provide adequate training for this type of program to counselors and social workers. And this leads to poor levels of effectiveness. Project Access was designed to address children's mental health problems and improve school climate. Our goal with Project Access is to create internal capacity so that interventions can be implemented with fidelity to improve child outcomes. Two types of interventions are implemented at the participating schools. The first is for the typical student, and the second is for students who are at risk for mental health problems. The intervention for at-risk students includes group cognitive behavioral therapy to teach coping skills. School counselors or school social workers conduct cognitive behavioral therapy with small groups of children. We know that school personnel need support from external consultants. Our current study in the school district of Philadelphia is aimed at determining the best type of external support and how much is needed and how much it will cost to implement the interventions with fidelity. In the study, half of the schools receive initial training followed by ongoing consultation. The rest receive initial training followed by consultation plus coaching. So our work has demonstrated that school-wide PBIS with other mental health supports can be implemented in under-resourced urban schools with fidelity and clinical effectiveness. Through these studies, urban school districts that implement school-wide PBIS will have empirical data that will help them decide how to best allocate resources so that the hard work involved in setting up these programs can result in the best possible outcome for children. We think that widespread use of school-wide PBIS in urban schools will help to narrow services disparities for mental health services for children.